Last year, 50 children drowned in Australia. In Asia, the figure ran into the hundreds of thousands, according to Royal Life Saving Australia. Now, the federal government, with the federal government's help, Australian Life Savers, are launching an initiative to prevent such tragedies way beyond our shores. It's an issue that perplexes most Australians, the rising drowning toll from our waterways. In a bid to dramatically cut the soaring toll of children dying in the water overseas, the Australian Royal Life Saving Society is about to launch its first drowning research centre in Asia. Asia, really water is literally everywhere. It's the lifeblood of communities across the region. Um, there's lots of rice cultivation, there's fish farming. Uh, people have livestock in and around their house. So in fact, children are drowning in everyday life. There are no swimming pools in backyards and they're not going to beaches for recreation. $850,000 over three years will be channeled into assisting a number of Australian lifesavers to take their expertise beyond our beaches, initially to Bangladesh. A pilot program featuring Australian swimming and water safety skills has already been operating there for the last five years. The Swim Safe program has so far trained 40,000 children. It's now being implemented in Vietnam and Thailand and will ultimately be expanded across the region. It's believed that one child in Asia drowns every 45 seconds during daylight hours. We've converted the existing waterways. What Australians would know as ponds or rivers, uh, large open areas of water, using bamboo and local construction uh, techniques, we've created safe swimming enclosures. The Royal Life Saving Society estimates that up to 350,000 children drown in Asia every year. Up to 50% die within 10 metres of their homes. With the proximity of open sea, rivers, lakes, ponds, water containers and other areas of standing water, this all too frequently leads to tragedy. It's hoped that the Australian effort will lead to a significant cut in the number of child drownings in Asia. Nina Mairata, World News Australia.